Once there were three trees that stood upon a mountain top and dreamed of what they wanted to become. The first tree looked up at the stars and said, I want to hold treasure to be covered with gold and filled with precious stones. I will be the most beautiful treasure chest in the world. The second tree said, I want to be a mighty ship. I will take kings and queens across the oceans and travel to the four corners of the world. The third tree looked down the valley to the village and said, I want to grow to be the tallest tree in the world. I will remain here on this mountain as a sign. When people look up at my branches, they'll raise their eyes to heaven and think of God. Many years passed. One day, the woodcutters climbed the mountain. The first woodcutter looked at the first tree and said, This tree is beautiful. It is perfect for me. With a swoop of his axe, the first tree fell. Now I shall become a treasure chest. I shall hold beautiful treasure, said the first tree. The second woodcutter looked at the second tree and said, This looks like a strong tree. It is perfect for me. With a swoop of his axe, the second tree fell. Now I shall become a mighty ship, said the second tree. The third woodcutter looked at the third tree and said, I don't need anything special. Any kind of tree will do. And with a swing of his axe, he brought the third tree down. What will become of my hopes now, said the third tree. The first tree was cut up and made into a feed box for animals. The once beautiful tree was not covered with gold, nor with treasure. It was placed in a barn and filled with hay. The second tree was taken to the shipyard, but no mighty ship was made that day. Instead, the once strong tree was fashioned into a simple fishing boat. The third tree was cut into large beams and with no real use for it yet, was just left in a lumber yard. Years went by and the trees had all but forgotten their dreams. But one cold night, golden starlight poured in through the barn as a young woman placed her newborn baby into the feed box that was made from the first tree. Her husband wished he could have made a baby's crib for the child, but this manger would have to do. Suddenly, the first tree knew that it was holding the greatest treasure of all time. Years later, a group of men climbed into the fishing boat made from the second tree. One of them was tired and fell asleep. While they were out on the water, a great storm rose. Some of the men were afraid the boat would sink and woke the sleeping man. He stood up, stretched out his hand over the water and said, Peace. The storm stopped as quickly as it had begun. Suddenly, the second tree knew that it was carrying the king of heaven and earth. Finally, some men came to the lumber yard and took the beams made from the third tree. It was carried through the streets as an angry crowd mocked the man who was carrying it. They continued to the top of the hill. The man was nailed to the beams, raised up high for all to see, and left to die. But three days later, everything changed. Suddenly, the tree knew that it had now become a great symbol of God's love for all eternity because Jesus had been crucified on it. We do not always know God's plans for our lives. His ways are not always our ways. But His plan for our lives is always greater than what we could ever imagine.